if you just can't resist an office romance, here is how to go about it. Hi, I'm Pooja Priyamvada. I'm an emotional wellness coach. Dating a colleague is not so uncommon. According to a job search website, 58% of people have had an office romance. Often, when you want to date a colleague, it could be a gamut of emotions for you. You want to do it, you are attracted to them, they are attracted to you, but this could involve a lot of risk. You would not want to get a memo from the HR and that's why you could sometimes consider not to go ahead with it. Before you go in for an office romance, it is very important to understand what your office culture is like so that you know that you don't land in trouble because of it. One of the toughest things about dating a colleague is that disputes in your personal relationship could spill over and then working relationships with them could also become more complex and more layered. This can affect your professional and career growth. Plus, it is always difficult to be with an ex. Now imagine being with them in an office every day, being with them on teams, being with them in situations where you have to make decisions together. It can be hugely challenging emotionally as well as professionally. Now that you have understood the negatives and drawbacks of dating a colleague, let's just talk about how to do it when you are in an office romance or are considering dating a colleague. When you are dating a co-worker, it is very important to have clear boundaries. These can be emotional boundaries as well as professional boundaries. Don't let the two merge. Let your work discussions remain in the office and in the boardroom and let your sexual discussions and romantic messages remain in your personal spaces. When the, these two start mixing, these are signs for trouble. It is important that you keep it quiet early on, especially when the relationship is new and you're not so sure about each other, you don't know each other too well. It is important that you do not announce it loud and clear in the workspace and keep it professional there. Once the relationship is formal or there's a commitment, this can be announced in the professional space as well. For instance, if you announce this too early to your team and then the relationship falls through, it is not only going to be awkward for you and your ex, but the entire team. And all the conversations then are going to be very awkward for all of you. It is very important that you keep your personal fights away from the workspace. You should not involve a co-worker in any kind of personal discussion about your relationship. This could affect your work relationship with them as well as your own image as a good worker. When you're dating a co-worker, it is very important to understand the culture of your workplace. While it's okay to make casual eye contact with them or exchange a smile, it is not all right at all if you're constantly holding hands in office corridors or sending each other romantic texts all the time. While it's okay to share personal responsibilities like household chores and other things with your partner, it is not at all okay to start sharing work responsibilities. Your partner and you are in two different professional roles in the same office and it is good for everybody's reputation to keep it that way. If you're dating a co-worker and you're also staying together or are married, it is very important that you give each other personal space. You should not be occupying each other's mental space and physical space 24-7. This can become overwhelming and sometimes it can work as a deterrent to that spark in your relationship. Before you know it, you both will get sick of each other and the sight of each other could often lead to irritation, argument and unnecessary bad feelings that are often not welcome in a close relationship. If you're dating a co-worker and one of the partners is a boss or in a commanding position in the office, it is very important to give them the due respect in the workspace. You could be equals in your personal relationship, but whoever is leading in a workspace needs to be respected like that. While dating a colleague might sound very complex and full of all hurdles, but it is not so. With a little bit of caution and a little bit of understanding of the complexity of this situation, 
you can go ahead with it and it can be a wonderful experience as well who knows you might find a gym to your pam office office can be a very happy situation to play in if you like our video please like and subscribe to our channel and tell us your opinions in the comments